Hi, I'm Sid Marsh with GoGoldCountry.com. I'm here at the cooking school at the Yankee Hill Winery with Ron Erickson. He's going to take us through a sample meal from hors d'oeuvres to dessert. So sit back and enjoy. So here we go with Ron's ideal meal. Uh, what are we going to do first? Well, first we're going to do marinated olives. Mm -hmm. And this is something that people can do. You just get regular black olives. And we just take them and pour them in a bowl. And then we're going to add sun-dried tomatoes to them. Mm -hmm. Okay. That are all chopped up like this. And of course, a little bit of garlic. Never can have too much garlic. <laughs> and then uh, I have some dried thyme and a bay leaf. We're going to put that in with some balsamic vinegar. Is this the secret ingredient? Olive oil. Ah, well, of course. Always olive oil. And then we just take this and we let this marinate for a little while. And then you just serve it. You can leave it overnight, a couple days in the refrigerator if you like, or in 15 minutes you can serve it. You don't puree it or anything, it's just as is? No, this is it. These are just olives to be eaten. And you just take them, use them as hors d'oeuvres, put them on a plate. Okay. And that's it. So that's our first course. Right. Okay, oh. here we are with the uh, second dish. Here we're going to be making up uh, risotto. And risotto is, can be made nice and creamy. We're going to do one with mushrooms and uh, Romano cheese. And the first thing that we're going to start with is we want to uh, slice up some onions. And so we're just going to dice them. Now, do you have any tips on uh, how not to have the tears? Uh, sharp knife. <laughs> okay. Sharp knife is, is the best thing. But we're just going to cut up one onion and put in there. I'm going to put it in then with uh, a little bit of oil. And the cooking oil that I like to use is uh, a blend that I blend myself. And it is uh, three quarters canola oil with uh, one quarter olive oil. And then uh, I have some sun dried tomatoes in there just for flavor. And this makes it kind of nice because the uh, Canola oil will take a smoking point of 425 degrees where olive oil starts to smoke a little sooner. So the first thing we do is just put our onions in and then we'll add some mushrooms to that here. We'll just cut up a couple more and add to that. And so Sorry. There you go. <laughs> is that the secret ingredient? <laughs> this is the secret ingredient. Yeah. And you can use any Before kind of figure. mushrooms for this, but if you use portobello mushrooms, be sure to cut the gills out with a spoon. They'll just carve right out. So anyway, now, how do you know when you have a fresh, uh, fresh mushroom? Is it the, the caps are tight? Is that the yeah. idea? Uh, like this. Okay. Right here. You look right in here, and this is nice and held together. It hasn't spread out, and because as they dry and dehydrate, that's what they do. So you don't want one spread out. You, that's yeah, spread. and some people, they don't like big mushrooms like this or whatever, and then some say, okay, what about the stems? Well, you can take the stem out if you like. But, uh, you know, just a uh, nice fresh mushroom is wonderful. And so here we'll just put some more. We have that starting to go. And then we'll be adding our rice. Now the rice that I use is our burial rice. And this is one that uh, very Italian. There's also carinoli rice. And what this does you is give it a creamy flavor. Mm. And so it's... Uh, 
kind of differs from long grain. You can use long grain or short grain rice if that's all you have. It'll you make use it like up. Basmati rice, that sort of thing. Or? You could, but it wouldn't and be as creamy. No, won't be as creamy, but you know, your guests may not know the difference. <laughs> so that would be about it. Uh, with our rice and with everything starting to uh, heat up here, we're going to put the rice in the middle. So you make like a little well to throw the rice in. Yeah, because all of these things will kind of cook together. Now, we have just one time to get acid into the rice itself, and that is at this point. And so I'm going to be using uh, white wine, but the best wine is the flat champagne that you poured down the drain after New Year's. So if you use that, because they're made with high acid grapes. Very good. Okay, we have this. Now what happens if you just threw the rice on top? You, you may cut a little of a well there. Yeah, well it won't soak up the wine. Oh, okay. So that's what you're This trying. is Newton's you, theory you, of wine. Newton's so, theory of wine. Yes, Newton's theory that's, of wine. So that that's will, relative though, right? It is very relative. And so as it cooks here, we're uh, just going to uh, let it absorb and so the pan will almost be dry. Even though right now the juices from the mushrooms and the onions are starting to come out, that's going to go into the rice too. Okay, well, so they're all, all up. they're all working together and it's just going to uh, make a wonderful blend. And by adding the acid in the beginning, it means we probably won't be adding any salt at the end. Oh, okay. So, you know, for... So if you're on a low salt diet, this is That's okay. right. Okay. This would work a lot better. Yeah. Very good. Okay, we have this. Now, what happens if you just threw the rice on top? You, you may get a little of a well there. Yeah. Well, it won't soak up the wine. Oh, okay. So that's what you're This trying. is Newton's you, you, theory you, you, of wine. Newton's so, theory of wine. Yes, Newton's theory that's, of wine. So that that's will, relative though, right? It is very <laughs> relative. And so as it cooks here, we're uh, just going to uh, let it absorb and so the pan will almost be dry. Even though right now the juices from the mushrooms and the onions are starting to come out, that's going to go into the rice too. Okay, well, so they're all, all up. they're all working together and it's just going to uh, make a wonderful blend. And by adding the acid in the beginning, it means we probably won't be adding any salt at the end. Oh, okay. So, you know, for... So if you're on a low salt diet, this is That's great. right. Okay. This would work a lot better. Yeah. <laughs>